Hey everybody, my name is Kedemon. Welcome back for another video of Journey of Wrestling. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, I actually don't re remember too much what happened, but uh, let's take a look really quick at what happened. Because I don't really remember who I went for in the last video. It's been a while since I've actually recorded a, a, a video, right? I waited a, a long time for you guys to give me an answer for the poll and everything, so... Uh, Paul Eamon, I think that's right. Yeah, so I went for Paul Eamon. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so Paul Eamon I went for him the real version the real one uh, To become the manager and everything so he's gonna be a, he's being prepped to be a manager right now as we're speaking Yeah, he's being prepped. He's already injured though for another eight months So we're not gonna be able to have him for a while I guess the first pay-per-view of the day of the month that we're gonna do is uh, Eat wave so it's our biggest pay-per-view of the entire year it's gonna be a lot of fun literally simulating this. So let's go into it, boys. We're not gonna waste any time. You guys already know how we rolled this. I'm obviously gonna keep this uh, series going until we buy off WCW, uh, which shouldn't take too long, maybe another year or so uh, of wrestling. I mean, uh, WCW is, um, I mean, we bought WWF, so WCW is not far behind, I gotta tell you. So the first thing is, uh, who's our heavyweight champion? It's uh, Rob Van Dam. You see, does he have an actual feud? He does have a feud. So versus uh, Jake Roberts, he has a feud against him. We are going to do a multi-man match. So what I'm going to end up doing today is I'm going to start off with a small, uh, small uh, multi-man. I'm just going to do Sting, uh, uh, I made Sting into it because they, um, it was saying right here that he had a uh, fire on him. Uh, basically upgrade the the pro the the, uh, the upgrade the matchup and everything as well so we're going to do that we are going to add a gimmick match to it uh, elimination is there stipulations i quit in street fight matches are very popular so i'm just going to do an elimination match just for that one that should be a really good one next stop it's the world championship do we want a multi-man match for that one? No, we want a singles match, I guess. Uh, we don't have... Yeah, he doesn't have any gimmicks. So that's perfect. He's going to have be able to start a gimmick. Uh, he's going to be able to start a feud for that one. So he's a heel. Maybe a face or a neutral would be great. To make things a little bit more interesting, boys, I kind of want to do Jeff Hardy, to be honest. Kind of want to give a chance to Jeff Hardy. So we're going to give him that chance. He's going to have a feud for the world title. And it's not going to be a gimmick match for the first one, though. But uh, let's add a feud between these two. Uh, Redemption, Corruption, not going to do that. New Challenger, could do that, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, cheating Spouse, no, let's just do... There we go. Let's just do a regular one. You smell. Kind of a weird one, I guess. But uh, that's going to be the feud. The World Television Championship match. Now, CM Punk, does he have a feud going on? He doesn't have a feud going on either. So uh, I guess it's going to be a singles match as well. We're going to start a feud up between him and uh, whoever else it is. So it's got to be upper mid Carter. Uh, I don't know. Is he a neutral? He's a neutral. So whatever, I guess. But um, I, I got to look for whoever's the most popular right now. It seems like Gail Kim and uh, Trish Stratus are both the most popular ones. Gail Kim is already or Trish Stratus is already in a feud. And so is Gail Kim, though. So uh, that's kind of a problem. I guess we're going to have to ignore uh, uh, one of the feuds or something, I guess, in the meantime. So I'm just going to put Trish Stratus in there. We're going to put her, uh, her in there. And uh, we're going to add a feud with her, another one. So let's just do that's my title, I guess. And last but not least, Br uh, Beth Phoenix already has a feud going on with uh, Lita. But do we have uh, a multi-man? No, it's just a singles match. Singles match, no uh, special stipulations or anything. Actually, since it's uh, July, we have to get a special stipulation for every single match. So this is going to be a false count. This right here is going to be a TLC match. There we go. And this one right here is uh, going to be a uh, still sell, still sell match. There we go. So all these big time matches. And the rest, well, the AI is going to have to decide, I think... We should probably do that gimmick match first, though. Definitely have that gimmick going on. So I'm just going to have a singles match between these two. Actually, before I do anything, I want to see, though. Is this still? It's not still. So, yeah, let's keep it going. 
keep it going we're gonna add it right here and uh it's it's gonna have a gimmick match obviously so we're just gonna do an iron man match there we go and for the rest automatically the ai is gonna have to book it for me so uh, let's just automatically do quality matches automatic let's go all right so there we go the uh, ai added some matches i'm not gonna do i'm gonna remove the feuds right here remove the feuds so Stone Cold versus Kurt Enning, they decided to do that. Let's put that here. Let's put Eddie versus Ric Flair right here. And that seems to be it. The rest is, they didn't do anything with the rest. Oh, that's interesting. All right, so I guess we're just gonna do, we gotta do maximum six ways. So I guess we're gonna do that. And uh, this one right here, we're gonna do it as well. So another five way, I guess. So that's interesting. That's a lot of big time matches. So let's add some um, let's add some gimmick matches. I guess I quit match for this one. Uh, this one right here. Next up would be a first blood match. So let's do a first blood match. This one is gonna be a casket match. Why not? This one right here is that. Well, it was a casket, but I guess now it's gonna be a ladder match. I can't do a ladder match. It's gonna have to be a steel cage. And uh, this one is going to have to be a non-sanctioned match. So there we go. So all these matches. But that's a lot of uh, matches right here for one pay-per-view, boys. Let's do a feud or uh, actually a main event package right here really quick. Always do the main event package first. Let's put it uh, right here before the main event. There we go. And now we can start looking for maybe a feud. Add a feud or something. A few package but i think everybody's basically up to notch i don't want to risk anything so i don't, i'm not going to do uh i'm not going to do a feud package i think a promo battle between lita and beth phoenix would probably be the best option so i'm going to do that promo battle between beth phoenix and lita right here right before their match you know i could do a recap a recap or just literally an event package for the next event but uh let's do a recap Let's just do a recap package, boys. So, so I, I guess I, yeah, I'm gonna put it at uh, at the as the first thing. I'm gonna do a recap and uh, let's go. Let's start it up, boys. We're good to go. So, Eat Wave, an interesting logo right here. I like the the way it looks, the colors and everything. It's always randomized every time, and I really like it. I really like how it's done. So, Eat Wave, boys, the biggest pay per view of the year for us. We're about to start it up. They want Rob Van Dam to retain the title. All right, that's interesting. But uh, we don't look at these things. We don't look at these things. We usually um, go for randomness. So overall, so we don't really look at what the fans want in that perspective. Uh, let's go, boys. So we're starting with the recap. Brock Lesnar versus Stone Cold versus Ric Flair versus El Generico. With, uh, was the big bad one, the, bi the biggest paper match or last time, last show. It was the best part of it. So a little recap, uh, upgrade this hype. The, man, the hype is already up notch, boys, up to notch. Like there's nothing that's gonna beat, the, uh, beat this today, boys. So we're starting off with a five-way unsanctioned match, an interesting one to say the least. Now uh, we're gonna go for the one that's the least over right now, obviously. So the one that's the least over is Xbox. So we're trying to put him over uh, big time now. We do need to push somebody. That's right. I forgot. I forgot that I needed to push somebody else different. Now, I don't know who I want to push, though. I might be pushing x pack Maybe maybe he deserves it. I don't know, boys. think I'm not going to push x pack but he is going to win that match, though. Boom. There we go. x pack's going to win that match because he, he needs to win it. Not a really good match, but it's, it's an all right one, I guess. Yeah, who do I want to push right here? You know what? Well, no, I don't want to push Goldberg. It's already at the top. Who is the least popular? I think Goldberg is the least popular right here for the six-way match. Yeah, Goldberg is the least popular. So he's going to get the win. Boom, just like that. Goldberg gets the win, boys. He's uh, al It's almost a five-star match. So it's, it was all right. It was decent enough, I guess. Everybody else went down pretty much, though. Uh, next up, casket match between Medusa and Mickey James. Now, here comes the part. I think Medusa, does she have? Yeah, she, well, she had already her time, I guess. We uh, we pushed her quite a lot, a little bit. So I don't think I want to push her too much. But uh, uh, she's going to get the win for that one just because 
uh, she is the least popular of all uh, out of these two Sweden uh, alliances one of them has a, a manager or something I don't know how that's possible but uh, let's just throw in the towel let's make Medusa win okay so Medusa is the one with the oh that's right because she has Paul Eamon oh yeah makes sense well Medusa Medusa Medusa's got to win boys so there we go that's a great that's a good match five and a half star match boys really good Medusa gets the win that's gonna help her uh, popularity quite a bit promo battle for the feud right here boom 70% not really that effective uh, it was all right but it could have been better I guess but uh, now it's time for Beth Phoenix versus Lita I don't know exactly who I should go for morale though for Lita is all the way down at the bottom that's kind of crazy but uh, I think I'm just gonna end up going for a randomness like always so I don't I don't know if I did the screw job finish already I don't want to risk anything I don't know I don't remember if I did the screw job or anything uh, plus 12 streak bonus I think Lita has a streak going on right let's just simulate because it's a title and Lita wins the title boys so we got a new champ Lita is now the new champ a uh, five and a half star match almost another great match right here and I think Lita keeps the streak Winning streak has increased. Yeah, she's 3-0 and at Eat Wave, boys. So she's still undefeated right here. She's uh, starting to have a Undertaker type of uh, momentum right here. That's kind of cool for her. Eddie versus Ric Flair. Uh, Ric Flair's got to win because he's the least popular of all uh, out of these two. So he's going to get the win. Let's, uh, let's do that. Ric Flair gets the win, boys. Decent match. Four and a half star. Could be better, but uh, decent overall. You know, I'm not having the best matches right now for the pay-per-view. Was ha I was hoping to maybe have better matches overall, but I mean, uh, they're not they're not horrible or anything. They're just uh, aside from these two, uh, these three right here, they're not really that good. So Trish Stratus versus CM Punk for the title. Now, kind of tempted to give CM Punk the push. I guess I should probably give him the push, right? Yeah, let's give CM Punk. I think uh, CM Punk is going to be the one I'm going to be pushing for today, boys. Uh, for the first three months. So, let's push CM Punk right here. We are going to give him a screw job finish. Yeah, we're going to give him a screw job finish. CM Punk wins. Screw job finish. Helps the paper, uh, helps the matchup. It's a five-star match. Just like that. Good. And uh, he keeps the title. So, I'm going to give him a huge push uh, right here. He's going to get a push, boys. So... That's good for him. F 50 of hype. So I quit match between Stone Cold and Kurt Enning. The least popular of these two is Kurt Enning. So we're going to give him the win. There we go. Gets the win. Worked against the crowd. So the crowd uh, wasn't into the match at all. It still managed to be a four, st four and a half star match, boys. And that was without the crowd being into the match itself. So, hey. That, that tells you how much that uh, those two guys are connecting to uh, with each other. So world championship now. Uh, the big time world championship. Brock Lesnar versus uh, Jeff Hardy. What do we do here? Um, well, no matter what happens, we can do uh, throw in the towel. Because they both have a client. So we can do both uh, throw in the towel. It's going to be obviously randomized. So is Jeff Hardy going to be a new champ? I don't think so. No, it is not. Really fantastic match. Uh, Brock Lesnar conserves uh, or keeps his title, basically, with the help of uh, Paul Heyman. It ended up almost being a six-star match. Interesting story. And throwing the towel. So really good match, boys. That's really going to help it out. It's my time now. So uh, I guess a feud uh, still going on between Gail Kim and Keiji Moto, boys. Uh, Kijimuto should win that title uh, or should win that match just because he's the least popular of uh, these two. Respectful in or pass out. Now, is Kijimuto is a natural heel, so we can't change him. And uh, yeah, so we can't change that. Uh, but uh, we could change. We, uh, we can change Gail Kim by any means. So if she wins, we can make it so that uh, we can do respectful in. What is respectful and a heel refuses to lose heel turns face i can't do that 
but we can do by any means so the face turns heel so we could do it so that Gail Kim turns heel or something like that we could do that boys but uh, it would mean that she would win so I'm not gonna do it need Keiji Nomoto to win the uh, to win the match so he will and that's a really good match a five and a half star match so the la the few last ones are starting to uh, really go up so everything's going up boys they're all having great matches and stuff like that so really good to see both are going up in terms of abilities and stuff really uh, like to see that main event package 95 percent effectiveness really good and now the main event wec heavyweight championship uh, match for uh the streak uh, there's a streak going on as well i think it's between rob and them and and Sting, they both have a streak going on as well. So that's that's even better, boys. That is even better. So who's going to win it between these two? Uh, these three? I don't know. Is Rob Van Dam going to keep the title, boys? He's just been champ. He won it last month. Uh, or is he going to lose it? It tends to be... Uh, uh, the champions tend to not last too long uh, with the heavyweight championships. I don't know how it's going to go. But let's simulate really quick. And we got a brand new champ once again. So Jake Roberts is now the new champ. Uh, once again becomes champ, I guess. So they're good for him, I, I guess. But uh, that that's uh, that's quite an interesting thing right there. So five-star match. It's still a pretty good match. It's just the fact that right now the title keeps changing ends every every month. It's kind of uh, it's kind of all over the place, in my opinion. This is a five-star pay-per-view. There we go. Really fantastic pay-per-view. Nothing bad about it at all really good and uh what about the title itself yeah the, the thing is every time it changes hands like this like it changes too much of the hands every month the experience or the xp for the title it's going down title is not as good as usually would supposed to be boy so combat zone wrestling to be bought out so we do have combat zone wrestling that we can buy out boys Literally, so it's not WCW, but we can buy them out. Uh, it's right, it's these guys. So we can buy these guys out and get even more wrestlers on our show, which uh, I'm more than willing to do that. Uh, look at the attendance for our show, boys. That's a lot. That's quite a lot. That's really good. So let's keep uh, let's keep it going, boys. Combat Zone is available for buyouts. I am gonna go for it. Make Medusa a main eventer. Transition complete. Paul Lehman is now a manager, boys. Reassure success buyout uh, yeah so skill increase so Brock Lesnar's work rate has increased that is fantastic that's a really good thing to know and now that that is a thing as well we're just gonna go booking really quick and I'm gonna go back to work rate again so work rate skill Brock Lesnar is now like uh, super good in the ring he's really good at the in the ring boys so uh, they're all basically work rate they're all at two just incredible and X Pac both need to upgrade their, I guess their uh, likeness a little bit, their charisma. So I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on, let's go back here. There we go. Uh, let's go back to the roster. Go for X Pac. Where is he at? Let's go for him, and we're gonna train him up. But in charisma wise, we're just gonna train his charisma, boys. He needs to have a little bit more than that. that it's a bit too low. It's just too low right now. So we wrestle Palooza. The event's not too much. We got a minus effect for unsanctioned, but plus twelve hype for uh, steel cage matches. So that's uh, that's a bonus. What about uh, the other things right here? Do we have anything else? Oh yeah, we have to go for uh, companies, and I'm gonna go for buyouts. I'm gonna buy them out. I'm gonna offer them. Uh, a buyout so we're gonna offer to buy them out they're gonna give me an answer next month boys if they're willing to be bought out by us probably it will happen i mean what else the, can they do at this point so what i'm gonna do else as well is i'm gonna change the modify the matches as well boys first blood match and everything i quit and everything i'm gonna get rid of those i'm actually gonna put them as multi-man as as well so we can use them as multi-man matches all right boys so i added three or four different types of uh, all right boys i added five different types of matches two out of three falls uh match basically best of three falls explosive bar barbed wire 
exactly what you think it is. Super dangerous. Injury is in there though. So it's very dangerous. We've got casket match. LMS match as well as first blood match back in there. But they, we can do them uh, though right there. Uh, this time around we can do them uh, as multi-man match as well. So it's not going to be a problem anymore for us. So Jake Roberts. How many times has he been champion though? I'm intrigued right now. So the title. If we take a look at the titles really quick. So Robin Dem's been champ for four times. He's the most amount of reigns. He's been champ four times. Jake Roberts though. One. Two. So two times champ so far. And I think that's it. Oh, it's just a two time? Okay. So Jake Roberts is his, two, his second reign as the heavyweight champ, I guess. All right. So let's just get that going. He keeps uh, having that feud going on between these two. Uh, we can still get that feud, uh, uh, keep that feud going really quick. Is it going to be a uh, multi-man? No, it's going to be a singles man match. Now it's both two heels facing each other. But that's fine by me. There's not going to be any stipulations to it either, either. Brock Lesnar, does he have a feud? He did have a feud, right? We started one. Yeah, versus Jeff Hardy. Now... It's going to be a singles match. So same thing. Singles match. Nothing added to it too much. Uh, CM Punk is going to defend his title uh, against... Well, he's already... Yeah, he has a feud versus... Oh, no. That's not it. That's not it. He has a feud versus Trish. We're going to have a, a multi-man match for that one. So she already had... She had a feud going on with Lita as well. Uh, Trish Stratus, that was. But Lita is now the champ. So we can't really continue that feud uh, right now. What we can do is uh, is just simply do another one instead. Medusa. What does Medusa have to do with all this? I, I guess we're going to put her in. I guess. Yeah, this time was a triple threat. We're going to do a fatal foy. And uh, what we're going to do. We got to put someone else that is super popular right now. So the most popular is Gail Kim. But Gail Kim already has a feud going on. All right. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. So uh, two for one. Two feuds for one in that one. And we're going to blow off the, that that one. The, it's my time uh, now. Uh, pay, uh, feud between Gail Kim and Keiji Mudo. We're going we're gonna to blow that one off. Big time. Not any stipulations either for that one though. And Lita, last but not least, is defending her title versus Beth Phoenix. It's going to be another multi-man match. So it's going to be a five-way for that, uh, that one. But the thing is, we need five girls. So I don't think we have five girls right now. We have four of them. Do I have another one? No, we don't have another one. So four girls is going to have to do the trick. We just got to keep in mind that normally it would be a, fa a fatal five-way. So there it is. And it's not going to be any stipulation. So it's just straight up matches from now on. Uh, quality matches. There we go. Just do quality matches, random matches, uh, sets of matches and stuff like that. There we go. Remove the feud, remove the feud. All right, so that is done. Now we just do these matches like this. There we go, and that should be good. And last but not least, we uh, do the rest like this. So uh, six-way match. I guess we're going to do a fatal five-way between all of these guys. And uh, last but not least, we're going to do Terry Funk versus Just Incredible. These matches were added, so we're going to add uh, a gimmick to them. Now, we already did, last time we were at Unsanctioned, that was the last time. Submission match, uh, which one do we not want to do? Unsanctioned, all right, so we don't want to do Unsanctioned. Let's do a submission match for that one. And uh, for that one, the gimmick match, uh, let's add a tables match, I guess. That's what it's going to be, boys. So, uh, pretty normal pay-per-view overall, it seems like it's going to be. There's not going to be a, a, a lot of, aside from the first two matches, not any special stipulations or whatever. So it's just going to be pretty normal across the board right here. Let's add a main event boost right here. Next up, we're going to have a feud package for sure now. Because we have a new feud going on. Between uh, CM Punk versus Trish and Brock versus Jeff. Uh, we we got to up Brock versus Jeff just because it's uh, the world title. So we do have to boost that, uh, that one up quite a bit. And uh, that's that's not where I want to put it. I want to put it right here. There we go. And the last one that I want to do, we could do a promo battle, I guess. Slime surprise. Let's just do another promo battle or a fight. Or a fight, maybe. Yeah, you know what? A fight between these two. And uh, let's just do a fight between 
uh, that feud, uh, that feud right here between Trish Stratus and CM Punk. Let's do a fight right before their match, their actual match. So right before this one. So that's what we're gonna do, boys. That's how it's gonna look. Let's hop on in. Do that pay per view right here. Go and uh, go into it. Wrestle Palooza. There it is, boys. So second pay per view of the uh, 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 that we are doing for the video. So they J they want Jake Roberts to retain the title. I'm actually gonna listen to what the fans want. Probably I I'm not sure. I might just do continue to do um, randomness, but I'm just gonna see really quick what they want. So Roberts to conserve Jeff Hardy to win the title, Kijimoto to win the title, Medusa to win the title. All right, that's interesting. All right, so we are it's Terry Funk versus Just Incredible. Just Incredible is the least popular of uh, the, out of these two. So we're, we're just going to give the win, I guess, to Just Incredible. Give him the boost. There we go. He gets the win. Pretty bad match overall. It's three and a half star. So anything that's below four star for me is a pretty bad match. I'm not going to lie. I just hope it's going to go up uh, from then on. So uh, next up, it's probably going to be x Pack again. He's always the one who has the least amount of of overness right he really needs to get over big time unfortunately like he's not like he doesn't have enough charisma to get over though but uh let's give him uh, that overness that he needs right now so uh boom just like that he gets another w another three and a half star match not good boys yo look x pack you gotta start winning um and you you gotta start having a little bit more overness plus two overness is not enough because these matches are just not good right now. The first two matches weren't good at all, boys. And the, ma uh, the match effect are keep decreasing as well for the pay-per-view itself. It's not good. All right, so Kurt Angle versus Sting. I guess I, I should probably go for Kurt Angle. Or then again, Sting is 0-9 right now. So I think Sting, Sting deserves a win more than Kurt Angle right now. So we're going to give uh, Sting a win, a W right here. There we go. I'm going to give Sting a W in that one. So four and a half star, boys, uh, right here. That's how it's end up. It's a, in, it's a pretty good match. It's much better than the two uh, first ones, that's for sure. Next up, the first uh, titles match, women's championship match, boys. Is Lita going to conserve her title? I don't know. The people wanted Medusa to win. But um, we'll, we'll see where this leads us at. I don't think um, I, I don't think it, it's gonna go that well for uh, for Lita. She's got a lot of chances to lose that title. Hopefully she keeps it though, because I want uh, a champion that lasts a bit longer. But let's see where this is gonna give. Uh, what the what the let's see what we're gonna get. And Lita is the champ once again, so she keeps the title, boys. She successfully defended her title against all three women. Uh, so that's really good for her. Keeps the title, boys. And um, that's going to be a four and a half star match. So decent match could have been better, though. I have a feeling that the entire story so far of my pay-per-view is uh, the matches are not that good. Ricky Steamboat or Roddy Piper, boys. Uh, Roddy Piper has got the least amount of win uh, He's got a lot more losses recently. He's got he's 0-4. But um, Ricky Steamboat is 0 and 1. <sighs> Shit, man. That's uh, that. That's rough. That's rough for sure. Uh, he's got the least amount of wins, though, Ricky Steamboat. So I'm gonna go for Ricky right here. I'm just gonna go for Ricky, boys. He gets the win right here, and that's it. Worked with the crowd. There we go. Crowd interest. Uh, interest. Five star match. The best match we had so far. Wish I wouldn't say that, but it's unfortunate. But. Uh, hopefully it's going to go up there. 100% effectiveness between the fight between these two. Uh, the two of them went through an intense brawl at the ne uh, nearby hotel's j lobby. Oh, that's interesting. So yeah, I was giving a push to CM Punk. So CM Punk's going to keep the title right here. Uh, he's going to get a huge boost from these wins as well. So it's really going to help him out. Uh, CM Punk, you win. And that's a really good match overall because everybody went up. Four and a half star match. Blow off between these two, so that's gonna be able. To, we're gonna be able to get that rid of that feud once and for all. And uh, there we go. Key feud keeps going up, boys. Now I don't know why it's only a four and a half star. It could have been a better match once again. 
I hope we're gonna get some more five star matchups. Otherwise, this pay per view is gonna be pretty boring, boys, for the fans. I don't know. Chris Benoit versus Ric Flair versus Eddie. Whoever's got the least amount of wins right now, I guess. Eddie uh, seems to be the one that's got the least amount of wins, it seems like. So we're probably going to give him the win, boys. Yeah, let's give uh, Eddie Guerrero the win. Another four and a half star match. Oh, all right. We're seeing uh, something go up right here. It's always a four and a half star match for some reason. And uh, Eddie uh, goes up, but everybody else goes down. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Feud package for the world title going very well. 100% effectiveness. I love, I love to see that. Uh, so world championship, Brock Lesnar versus Jeff Hardy. They wanted Jeff Hardy to win the title, I believe. That's what the fans wanted. Screw job finish and Brock is the heel. Would work better with him, but I don't know. Let's just do simulate. Brock, uh, Brock wins. All right. We simulate boys via screw job finish. Brock can, uh, retains the title. Uh, four and, or five and a half star match. So by far the best match we've had so far. Uh, never too late to have a good match, I guess. A, a really good match. So Brock Lesnar, get, uh, Brock Lesnar gets the win, can serve the title. Good. And uh, now, bro, Mr. Perfect is Stone Cold once again, boys. The AI sure loves to put these two against each other. Uh, who do we want to win in this one? The the one with the least amount of wins. Stone Cold is the least happy right now. Yeah, I should probably go for Stone Cold. We're going to give the W to Stone Cold right here. He's the least happy. Five and a half star match once again. Really another good man. Another, another good one. Fantastic. I love to see that. Last but not least, main event package. Let's continue our thing. 100% effectiveness. Our packages really worked though for us in this pay-per-view. So that's a really good one. Uh, last but not least, the main event. Is Jake Roberts going to conserve his title, keep his title, or is Roddy, uh, Rob Van Dam going to be a uh, read? Is Rob Van Dam going to become five, a fifth time champ, boys? He's already the most, uh, he's already has the most amount of, uh, of title reigns for the title itself. We can do a screw job. We can't really do that, but we could do any other one. We could do a ring collapse. And I'm kind of tempted to do that. I'm going to do it, boys. I'm going to give what the, uh, the fans what they actually want. Uh, the champ that they want. So they want uh, Roberts to keep the title. So I'll give them that. The uh, ring collapse. There we go. So keeps the title via ring collapse. Uh, really good. Help the matchup. It's a five-star match. And he keeps the title, boys, because we need someone that is champion for more than just one month right here. I mean, at some point, it's going to get ridiculous if the title keeps changing hands every time. So uh, there we go. So four, almost a five star, right below five star. So one of our weakest pay-per-view, I would say. He didn't get the five star, boys. That's unfortunate. Wessel Palooza, the pay-per-view itself did go up. So that's good. And the championship uh, prestige went up as well. That's all I can ask for all right now. That's really all I can ask for. So the rest is pretty decent, I guess. Let's continue. Uh, Wrestlepalooza, all right. We did all right. It definitely isn't 700K like Heat Wave, but Heat Wave is our biggest pay-per-view of, uh, of the year. So we can't always uh, get that uh, to that far, but we did get five uh, 500k, so that's really good to sell in itself. Now that we're back in the menu, let's see what we got as an answer from CZW. I heard your scout Eli Medi uh, Medina approached me recently, so he's uh, he's interested in us. Buyout accepted, so we officially bought uh, about uh, Combat Zone Wrestling as well. So we're gonna have uh, it's gonna be the same thing. Next month, uh, as we did uh, with WWF, next month we're going to be able to buy the uh, title and uh, any title that they have in the wrestlers and stuff like that. I don't know exactly who they have in their roster. We might, uh, we're going to take a look at it really quick. Buyout sign ins. Yeah, sure. I'm sorry. I'm not open with sign in. Scott Steiner says he doesn't want to be with us. New talent. Uh, Vince Black is available. In future, Nick Jackson. I don't know who these guys are, but uh, all right, let's go look. Let's take a look at the rosters. Uh, who do they have? They have old Kogan. Oh, nice, nice boys. They have old Kogan, my favorite wrestler of all time. All right, so he's a bad actor, but he's not a bad. Re oh, he is a dull worker. Never mind. 
He's a bad wrestler and a bad actor. That's rough. But I still want him. I mean, he's the champ. Not surprising here. He's a champ. He's managed by British Bulldog as well somehow. Triple H. St Scott Hall. St uh, Scott Steiner. Ultimate Warrior. They've got all these, uh, these old timers, I guess. Yeah, they've got a bunch of old timers and all. I still want these old timers. I'm still going to give them a chance, boys. Why not? All right. So that's uh, they, they have a really good roster. They have a pretty good uh, roster. So on our part, we do still uh, need a new Indies uh, play. Uh, we do still need a new Indies uh, wrestler that we need to go look for since the next month it's going to be October. We could get someone like Spike Dudley. Likes quite a lot like dangerous stuff, but don't think I want to go for him. Sandman could be another one, but charisma, but doesn't doesn't have work rate right, uh, right. So uh, it's dangerous to go for these types of people. Tajiri would be a really good one. He's a workhorse and he's got work rate of three, so he's a really good wrestler. He's not super popular, but I want to go for him. I'm gonna go for Tajiri boys because he's a good wrestler. We already know he's a great wrestler. So he's gonna be really good for us. He's gonna up our boost, our ratings for the matches and stuff quite a bit. So all right, so that's all we are doing for now. Uh, we're gonna save it for today. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys uh, for the next one. Keep it easy.